Hi everyone. So in this video we will learn about default mask and we will understand why default mask is important and used in network addressing. As we have already seen that the entire address space is divided in class A, class B and class C when we talk of classful addressing and this uh, 32 bits are divided into network ID and the host ID and this the uh, allocation of bits uh, defines the class so in the class A we have 8 bits for network ID and 24 bits for host ID similarly in the class B we have uh, 16 bits for network ID and uh, 16 bits for host ID and 24 bits for network ID in class C and 8 bits for host ID in class C. Now to find out the mask of each class we will be keeping the host ID bits to all zero. Host ID bits to all zero only these bits as all ones and the host ID bits to all zero. So you keep host ID bits to all zero and network ID bits to all one. This gives you the mask. So you can see here this is 255.255.0.0 is a mask for class B. Then 255.255.255.0 is again a mask for class C. So let us understand why this mask is required. When we send a packet from any source and it is means to send to any destination, it has to go through routers. Now routers is something which is responsible to forward your packet so that it can reach to the destination. And router maintains some uh, kind of table, we call it routing table. So what the router is doing, you can just understand in this scenario, the router is this and it connects to various network. This is network 1, network 2, network M and this is all connected by this router. So router has one table which has the information about this connection. So router only maintains the information of this network, not all the host which is inside this network. This network may have thousands of hosts but net, this router will only keep a note of this network. So each network is having its own identity. We call it network address. So this network address will be uh, listed in this router. Now for example, how the things work. So whenever any destination means whenever any packet reaches to the router, the packet contains the destination address. So the router will just take the destination address and then will perform some operation that is actually the end operation. It will use the end operation with the mask the mask which just we have discussed so the mask is required to find the network address now what is happening here it takes the destination address from the packet uses the mask applies the end operation and you get the network address now with this network address the router is in a position to look into its routing table because routing table only contains the network address so uh, it can check that this is a network address if it is connected then you just uh, means uh, forward from interface 1 or port 1 if the network address is this then you forward it from port 2 similarly it will check all the entries in its routing table and if any of the network address matches with the with the search address then it has to be forwarded to the corresponding port that's why uh, this mask is required to find out the network address mask is always required without this information the network address cannot be find out that's why the concept of mask is important in network addressing as i told you that uh, router is performing the end operation with the destination address so what the router is doing router is having uh, destination address and then it has a mask and mask for a class full addressing is already defined for a class A we have 255.0.0.0 for class B we have 255.255.0.0 for class C we have this 255.255.255.0 this is for A, B and C so mask is already defined for each classes 
so router will take the destination address from the packet apply the end operation so we need to understand how the end operation works so if you look into it if this is one input this other input the end operation will actually returns the minimum value or you can otherwise you can say if both the values are true then only you get the true or you can see it will return the minimum value out of these two value whichever is minimum so out of this two zero is minimum zero is minimum when both are mid, means one we get the one so let us take an example and see how it will return let's say we have two values uh, one is for example uh, one seven dot one twenty one dot forty dot thirty five and the other is two fifty five dot two fifty five dot one forty dot zero now one thing to understand whenever you have a value two fifty five or zero we will take the minimum directly we take the minimum whenever you have value two fifty five or zero then we directly take the minimum otherwise we need to perform some operation for example when i am doing end operation for these two addresses first address and second address so one value is 255 i will take the minimum similarly here one is 255 i'll take the minimum now here neither of them is zero or 55 i cannot simply take the minimum if i write 14 here this is not correct now so i am just leaving this place you will see what to do here now here you can see one value is zero so i take the minimum now to find out this value we will represent in the form of bits now 14 how we can get 14 14 is actually 8 plus 4 plus 2 this is 14 and similarly 140 you can get this is 128 plus 8 plus 4 so if i represent in the form of bits so this is actually i can represent this in the form of uh, bits so here we have the one which is not required then we have 2 4 8 and then 16 32 64 128 so these are the eight bits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and this is the 14 similarly I can write for 140 this is uh, 1 which is not here 2 is not here 4 8 16 16 is not here 32 is not here this is not here and then we have 128 so if I do the end operation means I will take the minimum so we'll take 0 0 0 0 8 4 0 0 and this is 12 so here we need to get so here we need to get 12 this is uh, you can also represent this in the form of this way 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 this is actually uh, 14 or you can write 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 this is actually 140 and when you do the end operation you will get 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 which is nothing but 12 so this is how we can do the end operation which is required to find out the network address i hope you understood this so let's see next so here you can see that uh, the, the router will take the destination address from the packet which is reaching to the router it will apply the default mask so it's very easy to find default mask because we know that looking to the destination address looking to any address you can easily find the default mask because we know the default mask for each class so once this is find out you know the mask and do the end operation and whatever we are getting is a network address so let us take an example the router receives a packet with the destination address 201.24.67.32 and we need to find out the network address of the packet so this is the address and we are assuming a classful addressing so the class range that is 0 to 127 is class A 
128 to 191 is class B 192 to 223 is class C and we can easily look to the first octet and we can find that this is belonging to class C so this is a class C address class C address this is already we have understood now now because it's a class C address so we can find out the mask so in the class C address we know the allocation that network uh, network bit and the host bit is actually assigned in this way 24 bits for the network and 8 bits for the host so you can write the mask as 255.255.255.0 because this is 24 bits this is 8 plus 8 plus 8 so 24 bits for the network ID we keep it all one and the host bit is only 8 bits so I keep it zero so how I can find out the network address to find out the network address we need to we need to take the destination address and do the end operation with the mask so this is 201.2467.32 and I am writing here 255 255 255.0 and we do the end operation and what you get so as per the rule if any of the digit is 255 or 0 take the minimum so this is 201 this is 24 dot 67 and dot 0 this is the network address so I hope now you have understood the concept of masking and how it is required to find the network address so we'll see more on computer networks in our next video thank you very much